Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So today here we have a Renault Kangoo electric van. It is a ZE33, which means it's got 33 kilowatt hour battery pack. That battery is owned and it is the maxi van, the long wheelbase van. So this van is only 16 months old. It's only done 4,000 miles and it still looks like new. So looking around the back here, it's the business model. We've got uh, the green number plates on it because it's a zero emission vehicle. And then looking in the side, let me just open up one of the side doors and get a bit more light in there. But yeah, as you can see, it is all ply lined. There's a few marks on the floor there, a few black marks, but the um, ply is all still in nice condition. Obviously it's hardly been used. And then looking around the back, we've still got all the lashing hooks on the sides. Often they're removed when it's ply lined, but we've got them on the floor as well. One, two, three. So six on the floor. We've got the uh, jack there because these do have a full size spare underneath. And uh, we've got a solid bulkhead there. And being a maxi van, you get a sliding door on both sides. So the charging on these is at the front here behind the Renault port. These are AC charging only. Type 2 connector. It's a 7.4 kilowatt AC charger, whereas the previous Kangoos had a 3 kilowatt charger. Uh, they do not have DC rapid charging. Uh, no Kangoos do. So they're no good for really the long distance driving beyond the range of the vehicle, unless you're willing to spend some time charging. They charge at a rate of about uh, 25 miles per hour from memory but if I've got that wrong I'll correct it on the screen um, so yeah you've got to be quite committed to do a long distance driving in these uh, but most people are going to be charging overnight and then obviously you've got that full range from the 33 kilowatt hour battery every day but of course if you're on site you can do top up using a granny cable they charge at about 9 to 10 miles an hour so you can extend the range if you can top up when you're not using the vehicle. And then in the back here is your charge cable, type two to type two. That's what you would use to plug into a seven kilowatt wall charger, either at home or work, or a public uh, AC charging post. You can also supply a portable charger, often called a granny cable, and that allows you to charge the vehicle from a normal main socket. And uh, the full details of that are on the website. Uh, but they're handy as an emergency charger to do that top-ups throughout the day when you're working on site or um, to initially charge the vehicle until you get a proper wall charger installed. And then uh, if I just move my bit of paper there, we've got new carpet mats on the floor. It's really nice condition inside. This one has also got AC um, fitted air conditioning which uh, isn't standard on these a lot of the electric vehicles uh, Kangoos uh, don't have air conditioning uh, and it's also got uh, DAB radio and single sort sleep, uh, CD and uh, Bluetooth for your phone as well and then if I just start it up we can see there the mileage is only 4,744 miles. So the range on these is uh, about 130 miles for full charge. Obviously the range does depend on uh, how you drive, your driving speed and your driving style, uh, and they're more economical uh, in a city or an urban area where it's um, more stop-start driving and a slower road speed, because every time you slow down, you're getting uh, your, your regenerative braking is putting charge back in the battery. And the regen on these Kangoos is really strong. It's not adjustable. It's sort of all the way to the max uh, and it's proper one pedal driving. And if you drive these um, economically, you know, you just don't touch the brake packs. Um, you're, you're, all your braking is on the electric motor um, and uh, your brake pads should, and your discs should last absolutely years probably well over a hundred thousand miles on these. Uh, these do also have preconditioning so you set a, a time on the dash here that the when you want to uh, leave and then while the vehicle is plugged into that charger at the front it will get ready for that time. Um, so traditionally in the winter you'll have the heating up to the maximum here and you can see there let's just turn the fan off you can see there's a little timer symbol so a standard it's set for 8 a.m. so as long as it's plugged in uh, at 8 a.m. it will well it will get the vehicle ready before 8 a.m. for the time you want to leave and it will warm the cabin up melt all the ice off the windows off the windscreen and side windows and get the cabin ready for your 
uh, journey and then when you disconnect you still got 100% uh, charge 100% range and then maybe you can do your drive without the heating on at all because uh, it's already warm and it does the same in the uh, summer because this one has got air conditioning you can pre-cool as well exactly the same it's all about maximizing range uh, this does have a heat pump heating system so it is a lot more efficient than the resistive heater of the uh, previous models um, and typically in the winter you'll see about a 15 to 20 percent uh, loss in range because of your heating use and also when batteries are very cold they are a little bit uh, less efficient as well. So the paperwork we do have uh, two uh, keys here and then we've got the wallet with all of the uh, books and manuals um, I can also see there an alarm manual I forgot to say this one also does have the optional alarm fitted as well and the V5 is here no previous keepers only one keeper from new and this has come in from Renault UK Limited registered to them um, and the registration date is the 20th of the 12th 2019 so this has also just had a, a thorough inspection in the service and um, what everyone wants to know is uh, battery state of health on these the batteries are particularly good uh, the battery will more than last the life of the vehicle but anyway I have scanned the battery pack and the battery is still at 100% state of health on these the driver's seat is height adjustable there both seat belts are height adjustable as well and the steering wheel tilts this way but doesn't go in and out we've got the handbrake down here two cup holders uh, we've got an eco switch here and what that does is that reduces power to the electric motor and it just makes you drive that little bit more gently stops you accelerating so hard and that extends your range Normal driving, generally I keep them in eco all the time. Uh, unless you're on an A road and you want to go above, I think, 56 miles an hour, I think it caps your speed at. If you want to drive faster than that, then you take it out of eco for that. But for normal driving, uh, even in eco mode, it still outperforms a diesel van. So the main reason for this video is to describe the condition. Um, and you may have seen my videos before on the website. Uh, I point out every little stone chip mark or scratch I can find. I don't hide anything because I want people to know exactly what they're getting. And then these videos give people the confidence to buy the vehicle without coming here to view it first. And then I can get the vehicle delivered to you. And I can deliver these anywhere in the country and they will come to you uh, on a flatbed or a trailer. So there's very little to show you on this one it's only done 4,000 miles it still looks like new but there's a couple of things i am going to uh, point out and we'll do a walk around anyway um, i would just say do have a look at the photo gallery on the website uh, lots of pictures on there where you can look at um, them in detail full screen you can also zoom up and have a really good look at uh, anything i'm going to show you so really nice condition no scratching marks or anything around the front the tires are still like new uh, obviously only done 4,000 miles there's no scratching on that front um, bumper no chips in the bonnet or the windscreen um, the wheel trims are all scratch free as well it's just really nice condition it still looks like new as I said there's no marks in the mirror there's just two things on the bodywork I'm going to show you but they are very very small there is a tiny little chip there absolutely tiny um, and I will be dabbing a little bit of the uh, white paint on there but I haven't done that yet so you can see what it was originally very very small there's a little mark there on the plastic wheel trim but that's only from the straps where it got uh, delivered uh, looking around the back there's no scratching on the bumpers it's all dent free on the back doors which is good because often they get a dent there where the wrong door is slammed first but not so in this case the only other thing I'm going to show you is there is a tiny little dent here about three millimeters you can see there smaller than my finger now on this back wing um, and that is it the rest of it is scratch free dent free and chip free i've just remembered actually i've got the dent guy calling in here later in the week so if this van is still here when he calls i'll get him to have a little go at that dent so i suspect that will have either completely disappeared or look very much better. I'm not going to re-record the video, but have a look in the photo gallery. 
uh, go right to the bottom and uh, if that uh, has been worked on I'll include some pictures showing you that. So yeah I've shown you the inside the cargo area already but we'll have another look. As I said there's a few black marks there in the ply um, and uh, there's a uh, a liquid stain there on the ply but it's not uh, oily or anything we've got a charge cable there a few little marks on the ply but you know it has been used backs really nice all I've got to show you there is there's a little um, few little chips there on the bit of um, hardboard on the back door but this side all really nice still and then in the cabin it's all still looks like new absolutely no wear and tear anywhere the only thing i'll point out again i'm being super picky is there's some light scratching around the um, ignition switch there where people don't put the key in properly and that always happens on the kangaroo for some reason the plastic they make that surround out of scratches very very easily the door cards are all scratch free uh, it's just in really nice condition and genuinely does still look like a new van. These are obviously zero road tax because they're 100% electric and if you're in London then they're exempt from the um, ultra low emission charges and uh, the running cost of these depends on how much you pay for electricity but typically a petrol or diesel vehicle would be around the 14 pence per mile to run these are around two and a half to three pence a mile but if you can charge overnight on a cheap rate electricity tariff then they go down to a penny a mile uh, and if you can charge on the solar or free um, public charging anywhere then obviously it goes down to zero pence a mile maintenance is obviously uh, minimal on these the actual overall cost of ownership is incredibly low on electric vehicles uh, the servicing is every two years on these and it's pretty much just an inspection and occasional brake fluid change as i said the regen on these is set up very strong so all your braking if you drive efficiently all your braking is on the electric motor which is putting charge back in the battery so you get minimal brake wear on these you'll, you'll notice that you'll get no brake dust on the wheel trims um, and if you drive these um, efficiently your brake pads are going to last well over 100,000 miles New, these have a three-year warranty on the van, a four-year warranty on the powertrain. That's basically everything under the bonnet, your electric motor, your charger, your inverter, and all the high-voltage components. And then they've got a five-year warranty on that traction battery. However, on these vans, you can extend the warranty with Renault. You do it online, and you can do it annually. And as long as you do it before the van warranty runs out at three years old then you can keep the warranty going right up until the vehicle is 10 years old and that's on the lot so well worth doing i think from the first year it's 289 pounds you can pay uh, monthly or in one lump sum it does go up a little bit by about 15 or 20 quid a year um, but it puts more than that 289 pounds on the value of the vehicle particularly when the warranties run out um, it will put probably three or four hundred pounds on the value of the vehicle so uh, well worth doing and uh, quite amazing that you could have a van at 10 years old still well uh, nine years old still covered by a manufacturer's warranty i think that's about it of course everything else is on the website so do look at that and this vehicle is ready to go so if you're interested give me a call or email and as i said i can deliver these anywhere in the country so it'll come to you on a flatbed or a trailer and it will be fully charged and ready to use